So I I wanted to get this uh Dwayne Wade reaction from this girl that it's been blowing up. It's been ar- around for like a couple weeks now. And it's still growing, this girl's opinion, and it's just been out there. So let me just play that real quick on the podcast. Oh, these motherfuckers is tripping. Now, I see everybody talking about this, but I don't see nobody saying what really needs to be fucking said. So listen up. Now, first things first. This is a 12-year-old boy. 12. He probably doesn't even order his food when they go out to eat. He probably changes what he wants to be when he gets older every five seconds. He might not even be into girls yet, if that's what he gonna be into. My point is, he is not old enough or mature enough to decide whether he wants to switch genders or not. That is a life-changing decision. He hasn't even experienced manhood yet. And you telling me he's ready to be a woman? If my son would've woke up to me and say that shit, I'm not taking no bullshit-ass excuse like, I wanna live my truth. No, little nigga, you need to live your life as a boy because that's what the fuck you are. Now, that's my initial response. But after that, I'm going to tell him you need to go to counseling because obviously you think something is wrong if you don't want to be a boy anymore. Now, I know this may upset some of you. You might think it's homophobic, transphobic, gender, whatever the fuck, phobic. But the truth hurts sometimes, my nigga, and this shit needs to be said. I cannot sit back no longer and allow y'all to enable this bullshit. If someone is sick, you give them medicine. If someone is an alcoholic, you take them to treatment. If someone is on drugs, you take the drugs away. But if somebody is born with gender dysphoria or think they were born in the wrong gender, you enable them to continue to think that? Or wouldn't it make sense to get them help? And I get it, Dwayne Wade was trying to do what most parents want to do, which is the best thing for their child. You want to support them, be non-judgmental, be there for them. I get it. But this is not support. This is enabling. This is supporting mental illness. I bet you if he got up and said, ruff, ruff, daddy, I want to be a dog. He would not be on Ellen talking about some goddamn supportive parenting. He would have been like, nigga, you ain't no goddamn dog. Let's go. What you talking about? It's facts. Um... At the end of the day, I never really wanted to talk about Dwayne Wade and how he does his parenting and his family and how he, you know, tells his son to be. But I, I didn't want to get involved in any of that shit. But when you really take a, they take it in, it's like you brought it to the media. You're, you're doing all these morning shows, trying to put in, shove it in everybody's face the way you think and your views or whatever. And it's like you're kind of trying to have this spin on it and try to popularize this ideology and trying to make this the standard. So. When people speak out about it, it's because they don't want it to be the normal standard. They don't want this to be the norm. They don't want this to be the approach that people take and take the leads of their children instead of being responsible parents. So I understand these these people's perspectives, like, you know, girls like her that make videos and others that make videos going against Dwayne Wade and how he's conducting himself with these interviews and this whole transgender issue. So to me, I'm I'm more on the side of somebody like her in her opinion about it but um it is what it is to be honest i'm not telling anybody how to parent their kids it's just the messaging that's what i really i don't like the messaging because at the end of the day there's a lot of people that are influenced by these you know these social leaders and celebrities so you got to control your messaging and be responsible with your platform (music) 